Hi everyone and welcome to Chic Chats. I am Jeanette Ipapu Tuason, the co-founder of Tuason Racing, author and columnist of Chic Driven. And we're here to give you your best life in bullet points. This year, my main goal is to focus on my health. I have had endometriosis twice and battling it for the third time. I have immunity issues. And of course, I'm getting old and the pandemic didn't help, right? So today, we're not going to take it sitting down. So I want to share with you my journey on how I'm going to get better or I'm going to be healthy. So today, what I did is I invited some passionate individuals who made wellness their business. Let's talk to a wellness coach, a mother of three. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Mia Season. Hi, Mia. Hi, Jeanette. Nice to see you again. Hi. Uh, for those who don't know, me and I are batchmates. And Miriam, we're not going to tell you what here. At least we don't look it. Ay, yabang. Anyway, Mia. Yeah. So tell me something about you. How did you end up in wellness? Um, so I started juicing. I have Juice Hot, which I joined in one of your chic driven events in Glorieta, if you remember. Yes. I had a booth there. Yes. So uh -huh. yeah, um, that was 2012 when I gave birth to my daughter. So I was making juices for myself, um, not actually to be thinner, not to lose weight, mm -hmm. but to produce more breast milk. So mm -hmm. um, I asked friends for advice and all they said was to eat healthier. So I got, so how do you eat healthier? The easy way, the easiest way is to drink your juices, right? to drink your green juices. So yeah. that's where, that's my first ano, parang, um, project, parang my first venture into wellness. But as I was um, talking to clients, parang I felt like I wasn't authentic because I was giving them advice, advice dito, advice dito, what to take, what to take. But I wasn't really a certified coach. I didn't really uh, learn it in school. I was a, uh -huh. I graduated as a civil engineer. Ang layo, di ba? <laughs> so, uh, parang feeling ko, um, I wasn't attending. I was feeling like a fake. So, um, I stopped my business. And then, I entered midlife naman. Parang may midlife crisis, di ba? Before 40. So, um, how I tackled it, I went to triathlon. So, I studied, uh, I, I learned how to swim for the first time. And then, yun, join ng races, ganyan. Um, and then, tuloy-tuloy na. And then, I wanted to learn more. So, I enrolled myself at nutrition school. It's an online course. Um, mm -hmm. It's for one year. Uh, it's for it's, It goes for a year. Sakto nga na... Um, I decided last January 2020 to enroll myself in a course. And then the course started March 16, yung beginning ng lockdown. So, okay. ayun, yun ang ginawa ko. I got busy with that. So now, I'm 
almost um, finished with my course and practicing oh. with some clients. <laughs> so so oh, that's it's a great. year long course. Yeah. Okay, so you you started with juicing because you wanted to have better you you wanted to be more healthy for your kids, right? Did you translate this being healthy to just you or also your family? In the beginning, it was just me. Because it's easier, okay. eh, di ba? Na parang okay. um, I'm eating healthy and then uh, wala na kawai, di ba? Kakapagod, kakapagod mag- a, uh, to convince my husband, to convince my kids to eat healthier. But during the pandemic, since we're all eating the same foods, we're all together 24-7, ayun na, parang I shifted my diet. Dati kasi mas plant-based, but now I want our food to be the same. Parang, parang we are modeling, you're, um, what they, parang, ano tawag, oh yeah. parang, it's easier to teach children, uh, monkey see, monkey do. Diba? Yes. Uh, diba. Practice yeah, what you preach. Oh. Yeah, that's so, what I are you guys doing plant-based or it's more of a holistic uh, diet? Holistic. We're trying holistic. Oh, oh. Kasi okay. the kids, but the, I'm proud of my kids kasi now that they're eating talaga vegetables all the time and they're trying na mga mustasa, mga puso na sabi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're, we're doing um, traditional foods, local foods, and then um, di pa naman sila nagsasalad. I don't expect them to eat salads kasi they're just 10, 8, yeah. and um, 6, diba? So you have to manage your expectations also. Uh, but they're eating more vegetables <laughs> now. So, like, so share share with us naman, uh, what were the, ano yung mga big hits mo na vegetable dishes para sa kids? Uh, well, they like gata, but before, parating ginata ang kalabasa lang. I stuck with that. <laughs> ang kalabasa na may malunggay. Di ba, since they were babies. But now, we're trying na sigarillas, uh, puso ng saging, gano'n. And yung mga buro, burong mustasa, actually, para nagulat ako na they like it. And just keep on experimenting kasi you'll be surprised also. Kasi feeling natin, ayaw nila, ayaw nila, nila tayo. But they like cauliflower fried rice. They like okay. broccoli fried rice. But I mix it with... Um, ordinary rice and we've shifted to red rice na rin. Mm. Uh, in the beginning white and red mix and then okay. hanggang pa konti konti hanggang red rice na lang actually ngayon red and black na pala kami kami so, what we do kami what we do is actually red rice and adlai cuz ah, my kids okay. so my kids are medyo hyper so sometimes rice has a big you know sugar content so we decided to just uh make it half and half because we realize if it's super red rice or just super at like they lose weight naman so it's really a balance oh, yeah. so so from your juicing days and then from from your juicing days and today now now that you're trying to learn it professionally what were the myths or what were your key learnings if you can share with us one or two na oh my god nung nalaman ko to biglang aha nag open yung heavens <laughs> um so nutrition school, school kasi, they're very heavy with the concept of bio-individuality. So okay. one one person's diet doesn't work for another person's diet. Parang gano'n. Parang um, mm-hmm. we, we all have different needs. So I'm looking at my children na parang, um, yun nga, I can't force them to eat parang all the same foods. Uh, I okay. have to respect their preferences. At the same mm-hmm. time, uh, listening to their uh, needs. For example, my youngest kasi, she has... She's allergic to chicken, to okay. uh, poultry. She's very sensitive to parang commercial poultry. But when I buy free range, kanya, the good kinds of um, chicken and poultry, okay naman siya. So that's mm-hmm. her parang bio-individuality. I have to watch her intake of dairy. I have to watch her intake of chicken. And for my second naman, well, she really likes pork. And I have to respect okay. that. Na parang, yeah. <laughs> um, that's what that's her choice of protein eh. um so um we i make sure that we prepare pork dishes for her because she likes lempo she likes um ano, but we ha- we shifted na rin pala uh, ay, wait, yun na muna. And, then, and then my eldest um he likes vegetables the most but he doesn't like fruit okay. so i have to respect oh. that so that's bio individuality <laughs> you know parang um uh, parang finding their way in health, parang ganon. They're okay. in the way that they like. Uh, so how does that work? Because there's that's three different palettes, ba? Like me, I have the five. 
Diba? I have oh, six, yeah. including my husband. So how do you make that work? Well, they have to adjust. Na parang, um, uh, alas, if my, my, my youngest requested this dish, so you, ha- you have to try it all. But they all get a mm-hmm. chance naman to suggest. Like every Sunday, we take out. And that's the time that we order, I let them order makdo. Pero once a month, once a month, yung makdo. <laughs> once okay. a month, yung makdo. <laughs> so they choose every Sunday which uh, foods to order. Isa isa sila. So it's okay. the youngest turn, they are around the okay. So on a regular yeah. meal, so it's on a regular meal. So usually, halimbawa, if it's pork because your second likes pork, will you prepare other dishes that the other the other people can eat in the family? No, it's uh, pork and vegetable. But I think dalawa. Di ba yung Filipino oh. style of thing, dalawa. So, ano, pork, pork or vegetable. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, so and ka- vegetable. Mm. Okay, but do you still continue to juice for your kids or for your family? Uh, more on smoothies. smoothies. More on smoothies. And mm-hmm. is that a hit to, for your kids? And what's a, what's the hit? Ano yung recipe na super hit sa kids mo? Uh, I wouldn't call it a hit because... In the beginning, when they were toddlers, they really like it, no? But now, it's more uh-huh. requirement. <laughs> okay. Requirement. I always put greens in my smoothies. Kasi parang, ano na yun, raw greens, di ba? Parang hindi mo naman yeah. malalasahan. That's automatic nutrition na. And berries, kasi berries are, ano eh, the best kinds of foods, no? Low in sugar, mm-hmm. uh, anti-inflammatory. And then, um, protein powder, kasi yun yung papasarap eh. eh or... Okay. Or banana. Okay. Is protein powder okay for little ones? What's the age na pwede mag protein powder? They're not so little actually. They're not toddlers naman ah. Uh, my youngest is six. I think um, for a toddler, I'm not really sure ha. I don't wanna, don't quote me. <laughs> okay. Don't quote me on this ah. Oh, Parang ano, um, it's not, I'm not so sure. But I use pan, plant-based uh, pea protein. Okay, but I guess because at the end of the day, uh, we're talking about all our experiences. Naman, no? It's not something that we're imposing to the audience, but this is the experience. So in your experience, you know, putting a pea protein, which is plant-based, on your kid's smoothie, whether they're 6, 8, or 10, works for you guys. So let's say, for example, ako, I want to start my journey in, uh, in wellness or being healthy. Uh, what would be your first advice to me? Um, well, you start with yourself also. Kasi parang it's hard to preach to our kids na to eat vegetables when they don't see you eating vegetables. So at the same yeah. time with uh, movement naman, parang it's hard mm-hmm. to tell them na you play outside, parang you run, you ano, but you don't do it yourself. No? So start with yourself as mothers, parang uh, okay. like I said, monkey see, monkey do. So whatever mm-hmm. that you can do, that's the thing that you can advise to your kids. Like for me, mm-hmm. I like working out. So every action five o'clock na. <laughs> every five o'clock, we call it uh, para movement time. So they have to get off their gadgets. And at the same time, it's my time to work out also. So they see me okay. working out. Tapos sila, bahala sila. Gusto nila mag-scooter, gusto nila they want to play with the dog or they want to play uh, whatever, but they have to move their bodies. Sometimes we do okay. Zumba at the same time. Uh-huh. Uh, in the beginning of the lockdown, oh, pa sila, pa sila with me, but they don't like to do it anymore. So I have to respect that. They also bike sometimes. Uh-huh. So, yun, uh, so I think um, start with yourself as the mother. Be the role model for uh-huh. your kids. Okay, so I'm going to talk to, talk to you about your journey, pagiging triathlete, diba? It wasn't bigla. You just decided. What what age did you start being a triathlete? I think I was 38, 37. 38. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what was your, like, so now, how? what's the farthest distance that you have raced? Well, Olympic distance pa lang. I didn't get to Ironman kasi nagbuta na lockdown. <laughs> I was supposed to... Wow, last year. Last year, uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, but uh, before kasi, when we go biking, it's more of training. But now, I'm enjoying destination rides. They call it destination okay. rides. Like, we rode from Evia to Tagaytay. Ganon. Yung mga, oh my God, you're uh, one of those people. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you see you see them on the road, no? Yeah. Yung ganon. So, uh, I'm trying it out now. Kasi there's no parang 
pressure naman to bike fast, diba? to bike, na, to train actually. It's more of okay. enjoying it. And I do it with my husband. That's the thing naman na we do together. Uh, mm-hmm. Biking. So double ano na rin, workout and date. So let's say for example, diba? like somebody like me who, I used to be a triathlete, but now na zero because of health issues. What will be a good, what movement, uh, what movement would, should we start with? What do you enjoy doing? Parang, do you um, like working out by yourself? Do you like working out in a group? Gusto mo ba sa loob ng bahay? Gusto mo ba sa labas ng bahay? Ano? I have no idea, man. <laughs> At this point, wala. <laughs> well, ako, ayoko rin ng home workouts actually before. Uh, before the lockdown. Parang I always join group classes. I like okay. outdoor sports. Ganon. But during the lockdown, you really have to adapt eh. Na parang, okay. especially during ECQ, di ba, na walang wala. Mm-hmm. Well, it helped that I was a member of, I'm a member of, ano eh, uh, those communities, mga fit moms. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm members of those group. So we have this parang Facebook group na may challenge, may mga four okay. week challenge, six week challenges, ganon. It's all virtual. Mm-hmm. We don't even work out together. Pero um, ayon we post our ano our food, okay. we post our ano. It's accountability in some way. Accountability. So, so you, your your advice is to first look for what we like to do, so yeah. that we will enjoy the workout. Maybe find a, a community that will support you, a support group, no? So what else is what else are you planning for the future in terms of wellness? Because you said you just finished, a, you're about to finish a course. And wh- where do you want to take it? Um, I'm still deciding if I want to be a health coach, but I'm doing all the requirements. It's required for the course. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, actually, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just... I'm um, taking it as it goes. Parang I want to enjoy it. It's not something mm-hmm. naman na parang I'm in my 20s na I have to achieve this, this and this. Eh. It's a passion. Yeah. So it's a passion project. So I don't want to force something into it na parang hindi ko feel. Parang at this time of our lives, no, in our 40s, we just want to do the things that we like because our time is limited. Our energy is limited, di ba? Yes. So, right. yeah. So that's how I'm approaching this. So right now, I'm enjoying um, the studies. I'm enjoying parang uh, joining parang mga talks like this, mga um, mm-hmm. being member, uh, being active at Mommy Mundo, you know, writing articles for some, yung mga ganon. So, um, creating recipes. So, baka you can share with us naman one of your recipes, di ba? That's a so, big hit that's good recipe. for us. Huh? It's in my Instagram. I have recipes in my Instagram. <laughs> Mia, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we will be uh, asking Mia to share with us some of her recipes. We will put that on later.
thank you for sharing with us your recipe. We hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye. We have some wellness tips from Mia. Um, she shared with us some recipes. But you know what our learnings are for today is you need, if you want to move, find something that you really like. You know, if you enjoy dancing or if you enjoy running around with the dogs, do that. And then if you want to be healthy and you want to share your wellness journey with your family, you start with yourself. So, ikaw muna, di ba? And then you have to show their kids or your husband, you know, eating this is, has benefits. And of course, the last one, if you want to know more about your food you have to respect everybody's individual taste so if somebody likes pork somebody likes chicken you have to respect them Wag naman natin ipilit sobra. i hope you guys learned a lot of things today but if you want to learn more or if you want to win prizes all you have to do is answer something and you can win this so answer this question what were the three tips that we have given? Answer it in the comment section below. So thank you so much for joining us today. And of course, don't forget to follow us on all our social media pages. That's Facebook, Instagram, and of course, our YouTube TV, Chic Driven TV. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know if we have new content. And of course, Chic Chats every 5.30 p.m. on Thursdays. Thank you for joining us. This is Jeanette Ipaputwason, and this is your best life in bullet points. When pandemic happened and all the kids have to do distance learning at home, oh my god, it was such a challenge for us. With all five kids at home, we needed an internet that could keep up with us, all seven of us. Good thing we found the Wi-Fi mesh that now gives me the whole home coverage. Each member of the family can comfortably use the internet anywhere they want. The kids can do their homeschooling or distance learning in their rooms. Me and my husband can work separately. He can do his Zoom meetings while I'm recording my podcast without the worry that the internet will get cut. I'm really happy we found a Wi-Fi mesh. Now our whole house has internet. Super glad we have it.